Hi everyone, I am Nikhil Mittal. I am the creator of Nishang, a PowerShell toolkit which is useful in penetration tests, red teaming exercises and offensive security. In this video, let's have a look at a script which could be used to dump user passwords in plain text on Windows 8.1 and onwards and Server 2012 and onwards. The script is based on Invoke Mimikets, which you may have already used. Invoke Mimikets is written by Joseph and it is a part of another very useful PowerShell, uh, offensive PowerShell framework, PowerSploit. Uh, this script also uses a smart registry hack which I first saw on the website of TrustedSec. So let's get started. Let's run a PowerShell listener on our attacker machine. If you have not seen PowerCat, try it out. It is a very useful tool. So we, we have started a uh, UDP listener on port 53 and on the target let's start a reverse shell. There are so many ways of executing a power sh PowerShell script on a target. If it is a desktop then client side attacks, drive by downloads or you can use it in your exploits etc. I mean there are hundreds of ways so let's not get into that. If you are really interested on how you can execute PowerShell scripts on a target, go through my blog labofopenetrationtested.com. There are so many blog posts detailing that. So let's connect back. Okay, we timed out here, so let me start it again. So now we have a reverse shell, uh, a shelf on PowerShell on the target machine. I have already copied the required scripts there for the sake of demonstration. So let's first run invoke mimikads there. and see if we are able to dump passwords in plain text. As you can see, there are no plain text passwords. Now let's try running the invoke mimikets w digest downgrade. A really not long name, uh, but let's use it. As the name suggests, suggests this script forces does a registry change and forces windows to allow w digest to use logon credentials let's just copy the name and now if you run this you can see that the target machine has been locked and as soon as a user logs back in, the WMI event which this script uses starts a job. So let's receive the output of the job, which may take a bit of time. 
and now let's see if we have plain text credentials as you can see we do have plain text credentials now which were not available when we ran invoke mimikets as you can see that it's null null and the same so this way we can dump user passwords in plain text on this machine uh, there are some caveats with this for example this required user interaction which is not really stealthy and it is generally not desirable also if we are to interact with user then we, we could use invoke credentials fish from Nishan but in any case this is still useful and could be really handy in a tight situation hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching this 